don't know if this is a good price for a teacup, but $3.99 isn't too bad for art supplies. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I'm going to turn it into something creepy. So commence with the creeping. Okay, that might mean something else. Uh, commence with the making of creep art. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty creepy. All right, let's just cover it in clay. Did you see the clay? Here's the clay. Putting clay on the creep art. Oh, gotta cut my nails. You ever try to use clay with your nails long? It's next to impossible. The real question is, why did I film it? Life is full of mysteries. Hey, you get the idea. I covered them all with clay. And oh man, we got crackies. See the cracks? So many freaking cracks trying to fill them all. And that didn't work. So on to plan B, which involves tacky glue and some water. Just some good old fashioned paper mache. And wrap that around a whole bunch of times. All right, you get it. I wrapped all the paper around the legs. There she is looking a little vulnerable. I didn't really like the texture of the paper. So I'm gonna dry this blue shop towel, but I just wanted to show you guys, look at it, when it shred the blue shop towel. So I put some paper behind it and check this out. How cool is this? Okay, maybe I'm just amused by little things. Anyways, I just wrapped it around like I did with the newspaper. And there it is. I think we're ready for some paint. There's the paint. Black like my soul. I'm gonna glue some texture on with some tack glue again. Squeeze and shake, shake, shake. It's like shake and bake. Remember shake and bake? Man, I dreaded it when my mom brought out shake and bake chicken. Freaking sandpaper chicken. Yuck. Pretty sure this teacup tastes better than shake and bake chicken. Anyways, I just slathered it in paint. I'm trying to make it look like oxidized copper. So I'm using copper and some greens. A little pat, pat, pat. And a swirly, swirly, swirly. So I really want to bring out the copper feel. So I'm gluing on some metal leaves some copper metal leaf that is but it's super messy so I do it in this box because I'm not a psychopath and don't exactly enjoy picking out metal flakes from all my future art projects it's so shiny and way worse than glitter this crack gets everywhere it's all right it's contained in my fortress of suction and there she is in all her copper glory you wouldn't even know that wasn't copper but let me know what you think and stay tuned because she needs a friend Okay, listen up. I bought this teapot for $4.99. And of course I'm gonna do something creepy with it. And why do they make these stickers so hard to come off? Come on, guys. All right, I almost got, uh, ah, I almost got it. Come on, really? Ugh, of course I gotta sand it. Let's go a little bigger. All right, good enough. Now I'm using this wire to add legs. That's right, my teapot's gonna have legs. Hey, I warned you guys it was gonna be creepy. Okay, ready for this? Glue, stick, glue, stick, glue, stick, glue, stick, glue, stick, glue, stick. Glue stick. Glue stick. Glue. Okay, enough of that. Here's the clay I'm using. And I'll just quickly show you how I mold it around the legs. Pretty simple. I mean, you get the idea, so I'll speed this up. Okay, now the tricky part, the flip. Here it comes. I'm gonna flip it and uh, flip. And bam, look at that creepy teapot. Ooh, it's so creepy. Oh man, it cracked. Commence with the fixing. I sort of feel like a doctor here. Anybody need a cast? Okay, now I got a spray paint. Unfortunately, I used this gold, but I ended up spray painting it black later. Oh, see, now I'm using black. The gold just wasn't creepy enough. But here's the fun part. No, that's not a cloud. I'm trying to make oxidized copper or rather make it look like oxidized copper. So I'm adding some greens and some copper tones and drying it with a heat gun, of course. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Smack, smack, smack. It's looking good, but it could use some more copper. So I'm gonna gold leaf, or rather copper leaf, some metal foil onto the side. My bad, it's bronze. I'm bronzing. Mm, I think bronzing is actually something different. This is just slapping some foil on, but it makes a huge mess. So I'm doing it inside this box. Sort of. I guess I'm holding it above this. Whoa, what am I doing? Stop. Did you see all that stuff fly off? It's okay. I got my handy dandy dust buster. Oh, that's so pretty and slightly creepy. What do you guys think? Not half bad for $4.99 at a thrift store. Ah, I made him a friend. Hey, remember this that turned into this? A lot of people said I should do the plate and I agree. So I got my box of eyeballs. You know, everybody should have a box of eyeballs. If you don't, you're missing out. And I stuck them on the plate. There's eyeball number two and a swoosh. Eyeball number three. And I gotta pop this one out of its socket. And a pop. There's eyeball number four. <laughs> I kind of feel like the demented version of the count on Sesame Street. If he had counted eyeballs, I would have been way more interested. Okay, I just have to add some texture, but I'm feeling lazy, so I'm just gonna time lapse this. All right, it's definitely missing something, so I'm gonna add an ear. I've never made an ear in clay before, but I'm pretty proud of this. I mean, it doesn't look super real, but it could pass for a mannequin ear, right? Maybe I have a job in making mannequin ears. Now I wonder what that pays. And do you get paid per ear or per pair? Anyways, I painted the whole plate black 
and was super careful not to get any paint on the eyeballs. And now I'm going to use this embossing powder to make some texture. Now I know tacky glue isn't suggested for embossing powder, but it, it works. Just don't tell anyone. And shake off the excess. And a whole lot more tacky glue with some more powder. And the best part of the morning is wiping the crust from your eyes. Now I'm going to add a ring of the finer embroidery powder, which just happens to be black, but I'll end up painting it anyway. Okay, now let's add the heat, which is always my favorite part because it gets all bubbly. Oh yeah, look at that texture. Then I started to layer on the colors. I got some blues and bronzes. I'm just blending with my shop towel. This is the point where I realize these eyes look wrong. There's too much going on here and it really hurt to do, but I have to paint these eyes black. What a waste of time to try to keep them clean while I was painting, but it had to be done. And trust me, this looks way better. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with the details, but I basically added gold leaf to it. Or I guess bronze leaf and added a whole bunch of bronze leaf to the back along with some paint. And there she is along with her friends. Now I kind of wish I added eyes to these other ones. So yeah, this just happened. And you know what made a break? This little jerk. You know, you're lucky you're cute. Look at him trying to suck up. What do you have to say for yourself? I guess I'll try to fix it. I don't know if E6000 is the best glue for this, but it's all I have. So very slowly I glued all the pieces back together. I honestly thought I was missing a few. I kept looking for more pieces and I just figured I'd have to rebuild some of it with clay. But no, all the pieces were there. And there were a few pieces for the backside. These little paint flakes were starting to come off. So I'm just gonna Mod Podge the crap out of it. And sorry about my amazing camera work cause you can totally see what I'm doing. Okay, so I. I had this in my shop for a hundred dollars and as soon as Satan's fur turd broke it, I took it down. But if I put it back up, is this thing gonna fall apart? Does anybody know? And is there anything that I can do to keep it from falling apart? I mean, obviously I'm not gonna put it back up for a hundred dollars and I'll have to put some sort of weird disclaimer. Cat decided to use it as a toy and is now more fragile than my confidence. I think that's a good disclaimer. I don't think that'll scare anyone away. You can hardly tell what happened. <coughs> Stupid cat. Ready for another teacup transformation? This one had a weird stamp. Hopefully it's not worth anything. Also, if you have any tips for sanding porcelain, I would be grateful. It's almost like it's meant to not be scratched. Okay, hold on, watch this. Bam. Isn't that satisfying? I just gotta add a few more eyes and a schnoz with some schnozzle holes. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friends. I don't think that's right. You can't pick your family? I, that's not right either. Anyways, here's my nose. One nose down and one ear to go. And I'm positive you shouldn't pick your ears. Everything needs more eyes. Add more eyes. More. Okay, I think that's enough eyes. But could use more brains. Or is this a mistake? I don't think we want this thing to be smarter, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's fine. It's fine. I filled it with tinfoil. It, it, it probably won't take over the world. And kerplunk. All right, kids, listen up. This is your brain on drugs. Just say no for the most part. And moving on. Okay, I'm just coloring in my brain to make it look pink and squishy. Onto the teacup. Uh, you got a little paint in your nose. And I'm way too lazy to edit this, so enjoy this time lapse. Time lapse over. Time for some texture, which I will add with this tacky glue. Man, this project's so tacky. Time to apply the embossing powder. With a shake, shake, shake. Whoa, that was a big shake. Hey, you get back in the jar. Now I apply the heat, which I love this part. Look at these bubbles. Ooh, it's so bubbly. Is it just me or does he look scared? Okay, one coat of paint later. Aw, uh, cheer up. Don't be so blue. Okay, let me smack your tears away. Okay, I'm just adding a few more details here. And I absolutely hate it. I thought picking all blue eyes would make it look better, but it doesn't. So I'm going to paint these blue eyes black. It worked on my last creation, so why not this one? Okay, for the inside, I'll just quickly show you my poor decision making. First I went black, and then I went red, and then for some reason I went blue, and then lighter blue, then started completely over and spray painted it black, only to paint it red again. I had poor decision making skills and apparently that red turned maroon but whatever we're moving on. Hey it's everybody's favorite game brain in a cup and this brain needs some brain fluid. I think that's the technical term brain fluid. I mean don't quote me on that. And hey look at that we're done. I think he's looking pretty snazzy and there's his brain. What do you guys think? Y'all ready for another teacup transformation? Do most teacups come from Japan? I'm seeing a trend. Okay, let's get started. All right, you've probably seen me do the legs before, so we'll skip past that. But if you haven't, go check out my other videos in this list. Okay, here's the clay I decided to use. Someone in the comments suggested an epoxy clay, and I thought that's what I was buying, but it's not. Don't worry, I did end up buying the real stuff, but I need to use the stuff up anyway. You have to mix the two parts together to activate it, I guess. But look at my hands. It gets all over your hands. It's caked on. Anyways, each leg got covered in marshmallow fluff and then texturized. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This isn't my best idea. This is what it looked like after it dried. I mean, it's not looking terrible yet, but don't worry. We have time to screw it up. 
So here's the first coat of paint. Spoiler alert, there will be many more. Second coat of paint, just drying the third coat of paint. I don't know why I never learned my lesson. Paint never sticks to the inside of these cups, but I guess I decide to deal with that later because now I'm gluing on these beads. Are they beads? I always just use them as counters in Magic the Gathering. And partway through editing this video, I developed a cold. So I'm gonna try to do the rest of this video with as few words as possible because I don't have time to wait for my cold to disappear. Okay, here we go. Shake, shake, shake. Smack, smack, smack. <laughs> Ooh, bubble air. Pat, 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 pat. Oh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Tap, 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 tap. <sighs> Spray paint. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Paint, 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 paint. Tap, 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 tap. Heat gone. Splatter, 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 splatter. Swirly, swirly, swirly. <sighs> Magius, pagius. Swish, 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 swish. A little sprinkle. <sighs> Disappointment. Swing. Stick. Swoosh. Tap, 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 tap. Stick. Swoosh. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Stick. Stock. Swoosh. Shiny. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Swipe, 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 swipe. One stick. Huh? Uh-oh. Ooh. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, I hate this cup. The only thing to do is to change it, so I hate it less. Or at least let's change the inside, because that's boring. Okay, logic, octopus, water. Water equals octopus, or octopus equals water. Anyways, let's add water to this cup, aka resin. And everything's better when it glows. That's glow-in-the-dark powder. Get ready, here comes the pour. Oh yeah, look at that. And yes, I should be wearing gloves. Okay, we can't have boring water. So let's add the only plants that I know how to grow, painted ones. Because I'm gonna be real honest here, I can't grow a real plant to save my life. Okay, what else does this need? Fish, definitely fish. Let's add the fish. And they were this really ugly yellow so I painted them gold and super glued them in. All right now that our pond is looking a little more alive I guess it'd be an ocean. Let's cover these fish up so they can breathe and then by accident I found out that this heat gun makes all the bubbles go away. And a few more layers of plants and some more resin. Honestly I don't know if I'm doing this move because it's fun or if it's necessary. Anyways let's pop those bubbles and we're definitely missing a boat but this color isn't doing it for me so let's repaint it. Okay time to christen the water with this boat or are we christening the boat with the water? Actually what does christen mean? I don't know. Okay that does not matter. What do you think of my cup? Do you think it's an improvement? I think it's definitely better. Here it is in the dark. Alright, I have another teacup here that I plan on creepifying. This one has no markings, so no getting upset at me in the comments. You all act like there's not a million cups at Sabres. Alright, let's get that pesky label off. If you've seen one of my teacup videos before, you know most of them get legs. So we'll fast forward. Although note, the absurd amount of hot glue. This is foreshadowing. Each leg gets a nice clay jacket, and then I covered the middle. Would you call that the crotch? Is crotch a really terrible word? It's kind of like the word moist. Ugh, sorry about that. Let's move on. Okay, I'm just making these legs look like branches. Some naughty branches. And here we come to the creepy part. Although I have to admit, he kind of looks like he's smiling. Well, smiles aren't creepy, so let's turn it into a nose. Yep, definitely creepy. Oh no, he leaked. Remember all that hot glue I added? Well, apparently hot glue in the oven do not mix. I mean, obviously. It's all right, I can fix them. However, the pan is another story. Not even the heat gun worked. All right, that's for future Ashley to worry about. Future Ashley hates past Ashley. Though most of the hot glue did peel off the cup. Okay, let's get the tacky glue out. And sometimes you have to be rough with your tacky glue to get it to work. Do y'all yell at inanimate objects? I mean, I can't be the only one, right? Am I weird? I mean, I know I'm weird, but am I weirder than weird? All right, let's suppress that realization. Just in time for the bubbles. Look at those bubbles. Ooh, they're so bubbly. Okay, I'm gonna put some air dry clay in the middle of this thing and hopefully it won't crack like last time. You guys suggested keeping it moist. Try right, to use the word moist again. All right, I swear that's the last time. Please follow me. Okay, now I'm gonna put something in the middle. I'm using this weird clay, which I don't really suggest because I'm not really fond of it. It's really light and fluffy. Feels a bit like trying to sculpt a marshmallow. I don't like to waste materials and I had this leftover from something else. So I'm making a marshmallow mushroom and adding a skull. And there it is. I included a few friends in there. As you know, I often change my mind during these projects because I'm a terrible decision maker. At least I'm aware of it. So I painted and repainted a few times. I ended up with black and gold. Ooh, I love this part. For some reason, I find gold leaf super satisfying. However, I don't find the mess it leaves satisfying at all. But luckily, I have my fortress of suction. But I mean, look at this thing. It's so shiny. Okay, I started to paint the inside of the eyes and the nose, but I realized it was just scraping off. So I gotta pick your nose. So I'm gonna have to go with some spray paint. 
Okay, that's looking pretty ugly. Maybe some more paint and some more pepper. And don't forget to spank it. Okay, this is getting weird. Okay, let's heat it up. I'm just gonna add a few more gold details with this pen. It really makes it come to life. Like, look at this. Ooh. I mean, as much as a skull cup could come to life, I guess what I should have said is that it really makes it come to death. Yeah, I don't know. It makes it look better. Oh, can't forget the mushroom. All right, and here's the final product. Is this creepy? I think it's creepy. It's like death tea or forbidden tea. Mushroom tea. Death mushroom tea. It's official. If I had a band, I'd definitely call it that. Nobody steal my band name. It's mine. I called it. TM. TM.